Hello everybody, welcome to my video. This is uh, my harvester ant. Don't ask me to pronounce the actual genus name. I am bad at that stuff. But I caught this queen June the 5th, local park down here in South Texas. Just a little backstory, me and my brothers grew up down here. And um, you know, we grew up before YouTube and we had to be outside. That was entertainment TV. I mean, we had TV, but trust me, it was nothing like today. Um, so I ain't gonna say what we we're doing with them, but let's just say I feel bad and now I want them to live. After about a month of being impatient, I decided to go ahead and boost her. I can't say it was a bad thing. Now she accepted the larva immediately. I mean, she didn't even think about it. She just grabbed them, put them on top of her eggs and just grabbed them one by one because I had to toss them in there one at a time. But honestly, it was great. I mean, she has no problems with them. Right here, I went ahead and got a close up of this seed. I just wanted to see if there was going to be changes over time. She maybe added a seed to it or taken away a seed or something like that. I never moved this nest, so there's never should be a change to that seed unless she moves it. So that's what I wanted to see if she was feeding them the seeds are from her own body through Trophiloxus. At this moment, if I say any terms that are wrong or anything like that, forgive me. I don't really know about the terms. One day I'm going to buy a book like I used to back in the day and read about it. But in the meantime, y'all correct me. Comment, like, and subscribe. Now at first I'll admit I didn't really know what she was doing. Went ahead and checked the water level. But then right as you can see, that's what she was doing. All right, first workers, not sure if it's proper to call them the nitics, so I'm not. But they're still cute as hell, aren't they? Check them out. So here we got the true nanitics side by side to their kidnapped sisters. It's amazing how much of a size difference there is. I don't condone kidnapping in any form, shape, or manner, except for an ant. At first, I was trying to get seeds from outside in the wild trying to keep it as cheap as possible. But in the end, it's just better to buy bird seeds or maybe order some seeds online. But tell you the truth, bird seeds from any grocery store work just fine. Just make sure to change them out every now and then. I have noticed that they don't like the old seeds. I guess they can tell if they get seeds stale or something like that. But yeah, you gotta change them out. These boosted workers, they come from three different colonies outside of my house. Um, I, had, I have a lot of space outside. And these colonies, they're actually really old colonies. I wanted to make sure that she had some of the most mature um, workers that she can possibly get. I knew that that would make a difference for her. Just so her, you know, her brood can have a good chance. As y'all can see here, it's been about a month. Population explosion. These girls, they just keep on growing and growing. Look at all that pupa and larva down there. The queen as glorious as usual. This colony is just doing great. As far as feeding and cleaning, it's a breeze. Um, the feeding, just throwing a bunch of seeds. I give them insects every now and then, but maybe like once a month so far, it has not been many at all. In fact, it was like three months before I, they had any type of flesh. Um, so straight up they don't need no flesh at all they'll be fine with seeds but I heard that it helps them with their growth so I gave them a little bit every now and then other than that just make sure they got their water because you know nothing lives without water I also got a heat cable running across the side of their, um, their mini hearth 
um, it's 24 hours and I don't know what kind of difference it makes or not because I've never done it without it but here's here's what I got so y'all can take this for an example this is the Tar Hill Mini Hearth um, it's just a little bit bigger than a deck of cards no lie um, so this could go anywhere the, the heat cable itself is probably more bigger in volume than this thing it is itself so these things you know they, they work out real good it's been a few weeks since that last clip and as you can see, they're still growing. The, the larva, now they're looking big compared to that last uh, clip. But, um, you know, they, they're gonna outgrow this nest real soon. And I'm not too much of in a hurry because they seem fine. I mean, there's still a lot of space. And from what I understand, they say that they need to be super crowded when you really, really need to move them. So I'm not too much of in a hurry, but I do got some um, nests coming out, some DIY nests. I learned how to make these nests watching the ant terrariums videos. Uh, if y'all have never seen his videos, y'all should check them out. He's got some good stuff there. If you want to learn terms and real stuff, watch his videos. My video is just going to be entertainment, guys. Now, I do want to do like, a, I guess, a time lapse of them moving in into their new nest. But give me some time, guys. I'm trying to perfect this, this nest. I, I don't want it to look all weird and stuff. I want it to be high quality look for great videos and you know just to look good in the house. Alright everybody it's your boy from down south. If y'all like what you saw right here go ahead and give it a like, um, give a comment, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll make some more videos. I got some panther ants, some big old giant black ants, they're awesome. I also got some honey pots, but I'm gonna try to keep this to ants that I catch locally. But I mean, you know how it is. It's all about the subscriptions, the likes, and all that GIF, I think. I don't know, I never done a YouTube channel, but I'm hoping to get into it. Straight up, y'all. These videos, I didn't make them make a YouTube video. I made them for myself. I travel a lot, so I like to film my videos. And when I'm out of town, I could just be watching these videos. It's pretty relaxing for me. I don't know about y'all. Y'all's boy from down south, keeping it real. Peace out.